Welcome back to the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time where we look at Niger's defeat in Terra Lone 2 1. In that particular game, we have Monday Thomas who joins the conversation as a sports analyst. Very interesting is the fact that Niger's road to Ivory Coast in 2023 kicked off with a much needed win in a Group A of a qualifying phase. Like I mentioned earlier on, it was a fantastic defeat, a 2 1 at that martyr. But um, let's get to the conversation. Monday, Thomas, it's good to have you join us this beautiful morning, Friday morning. You are Monday on the Friday morning. Good morning, Mercy. Thank you so much for having me. I can't wait to get on with uh, everything we have, uh, especially for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. What a way to begin the African com campaign. So we're looking at the 4-4-2 formation. And some persons mm -hmm. are saying that this has been, you know, fantastic. Other persons are quite different, you know, with the start, especially where you have uh, Jose Pesero starting, uh, you know, this game, you know, for him. A 4-4-2 formation, it's a very effective formation. I mean, it's a traditional formation. It's a formation we don't get to see now in the modern football. But I tell you, it's a formation that can bring you victories for joseph persaro if you take a look at his resume you find out that he once was with the los blancas i'm talking about real madrid and in that time where he was the one of the assistant coaches of uh, uh real madrid that time was where real madrid used to play a 4-4-2 formation where raul gonzalez pablo used to pair alongside ronaldo de lima so yesterday we saw a 4-4-2 formation and you can see the audacity, you can see the purposeful football, you can see the direct football, you can see that this man is out here to get results. And result is what football is all about. Football is a, uh, is a result-oriented game. If you can't get the result, I'm, I, you won't go anywhere. You play the best football, but if you can't get the result, you won't go anywhere. But we saw that game yesterday and what I've noticed about uh, Joseph Osiro is that uh, he's, he's, he's a man that is not afraid to change things. We saw in the first 45 minutes, the first 15 minutes of the game, the Lone Stars came at the Super Eagles of Nigeria. It was quite unexpected when uh, Jonathan Moses scored in the 11th minute, and you can blame that to the defensive era of the Super Eagles. Now, it was not a fantastic win, but we needed a, a win. We needed to, of course, grind out that result so that we can get our, our, our Afghan campaign to a great start. The defense line for me was not the very best, but how did we build after losing, after uh, going down in that game, just five minutes after uh, Sierra Leoneans had scored, five minutes later, Alexi will be with an absolute beauty of a coiler. That is what it's all about. It's not, it's, it doesn't matter if you go down, but what is your fighting spirit when you go down? Uh, I can uh, take your mind back to that game that was played at the same stadium, uh, which happened to be the, uh, the World Cup qualifiers where the Super Eagles of Nigeria played a one all draw against the Black Stars of uh, Ghana. The Black Stars scored us first. What happened? We were struggling. And this is, what, this is what happens in African football. An away team scores you first. They will do their very best to defend. But the Sierra Leoneans couldn't do that against a power-packed Super Eagles side. I know there are some negatives you can take up from that particular game. Nigerians, we missed chances. Samuel Chukese blowed a very glaring opportunity. We also missed other chances. And we can build from that particular one. But in the overall, for a man who is just coming in, we should cut him some slack. I don't think he should be criticized right now. He should just be given the support he needs. After four five training session, he, he led Nigeria to a very beautiful performance yesterday. I know some people are still talking about the Mexico. But, but have we been always? I mean, have we been always with the four four two formation, or is this a new development or new tactics? I mean, that's what a lot of persons have argued over time with the, uh, you know, the previous coach. We, we don't, we so don't, are you saying you know, that uh, Jose Pocero is more tactical now? Because the 4-4-2 no. formation might not be just a you know, new you know, Mercy, the only problem we have right now on this show is that we don't have time. We don't have time because I've got a lot to say about <laughs> Go Jose ahead. Pocero. Whatever it is you have to say, go ahead. I, I, took, I took your mind back to the, the days of the Los Blancos and I told you he was one of the assistant coaches right there. And I told you how effective a 4-4-2 formation means for a coach using a 4-4-2 formation it tells you that this coach is very confident. It tells you that this coach wants to win a game. Playing two strikers, you want, to, you want your strikers to hunt down and get the goals. It doesn't matter what people think. You know, football is a game where everyone thinks they have an opinion. 
quite shocking, especially Nigerians. We think we know football. We think we can decide for the coaches. A 4-4-2 formation, for me, was not the best yesterday. But if it's something we can incorporate, if it's something we can let the players build on, the 4-4-2 formation will, be, will bring us great victories in, in the nearest picture. Okay. Uh, next for the uh, Super Eagles is a game in Morocco mm. uh, uh, where they'll be taking on Satome and Principe. That should be another win for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. We saw what happened to them yesterday. I'm um, talking about Satome and Principe. They lost to Guinea with five goals to one. So uh, uh, for me, I would encourage the coach to my, try my whatever Thomas, you think is before, best for the Super Eagles Before we look at the, the next, uh, the future, um, it's interesting uh, what, what you've, you've just uh, replied. Uh, Mercy, I don't know if she wants you to see the team play like Liverpool. Um, <laughs> but, but I think what she's saying is that the coach was direct. Um, he played a direct formation. He was um, uh, not playing... Purposeful. Yeah, purposeful and just wanted to grind out a result. Why? Well, he tries to understand who his players are and what the team is in to, to uh, decide how to play. Um, uh, let's look at the lineup, the starting lineup. Uh, Alex will be equalized for Nigeria. And uh, Victor Simen grabbed the winner for Nigeria in the first half. In the second half, there were no goals scored. Uh, are you are you okay with this starting lineup? Because I heard you mention the uh, some sort of defensive mistake that led to the conceding of the first goal. Uh, we know what the, the Nigerian contingent in Glasgow Rangers have been able to accomplish. The name on everybody's lips is Calvin Bassi. He was played, from what I can see, uh, left back. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, what are your thoughts on this starting uh, eleven, especially as Iwobi was left out of the World Cup qualifiers? All right, uh, the the coach is still experimenting things. He's still trying to uh, take a look at uh, the team is he could uh, make his first eleven. So, starting the the starting line, I think that was the best starting lineup he could go for. Calvin Bassi was prolific for Rangers. He was one of the uh, player of the season for Rangers. And also Joe Aribo, who was fantastic as well. How about Alexi Wobi in the midfield? Quality. I mean, in his past 10 games in the English Premier League, and as well as with the Super Eagles of Nigeria, he's been clearly the, the, the best player. But for the defense line, it was Semi Ajayi, who plays for West Bromwich Albion, and William Trusekong. That was where the problem of the Super Eagles, of course, started, especially from the first goal. I mean... William Trusekong doesn't play for his side, Watford, in the English Premier League. They're relegated right now, but he's a, he's a player that doesn't get to start for his side like Watford. Semi Ajayi, you, you won't blame him. I mean, he played in the English Premier League uh, two seasons ago. He's now playing in the championship with uh, uh, West Bromwich Albion. I'm thinking we have a defensive issue. And William Trusekong, for me, is not my man. Can't be my man because he wasn't able to match all that defense. His communication is not the very best i mean it's not just talking when you're communicating it's making the right uh, the right decisions and also putting out the right instructions for the first goal you, you can see that in the first 10 minutes zero alone came out playing uh, like i see they were barcelona against a watford side they wanted a goal and they got a goal but it for me it, it was because of a defensive error calvin bassi also was not on hand to stop the uh, jonathan mose from scoring but there's always room for improvement in every game it might not have been the best of the best performance for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, but it was good enough to get us to a flying start. I'm very sure that coaches, uh, we, I, I heard from him this morning, he said that uh, it was a good game, but there's always room for improvement. And I think I'll agree with him. It might not have been the best game. There's a lot to criticize about this particular game, but when you see the way this man is playing, when you see his motive, you know that Nigeria will go very far with Joseph Pasayo. Mm. Don't, don't we think that this is too early for all of the assumptions? I mean, come on. Are we going to say that... But it's not too early, right? It's not too early because people are already criticizing him. It's too early to criticize. Just cut him some slant. Let's just see what he can do. For me, I think he, he's a man that will change things. He, so, 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 but but, but let's, talk about, let's talk about the super egos entirely. What exactly right. is lacking? What exactly do we need? Is it the formation that we have to peg with the technicality what exactly is the issue? It's the tactics. The tactics. It's building confidence in these players. We've got quality players. World class. Look at Victor Simon. Did you see that, that finish? Goal scoring machine. That is a, a, a poacher's finish. But do they have the coaches to tell them, to give them the right instructions, what to do at a point in time? What formation to change? If you see your team attacking, if you see the opponent attacking you, what do you do to calm them down? 
Look at what he did, Joseph Pesaro. He took off Tadeguma. He knew that the battle was in the midfield. And Sierra Leone were dominating. Ogunikaro came in. Although he, got, he made some dangerous tackle, sometimes you need that. You need to take one for the team. But he was able to calm the situation in the midfield. And the Super Eagles grew back into the game. But, of course, he should have gotten goals in the second 45 minutes. But look at that chance on Samuel Chikese. Simon Moses was not really in the game, although he provided two assists. So what we really need in, in, in for the Super Eagles is a coach to tell them that they can. Is a coach so, so to tell I, them I, to... I mean, I mean, so would, would you say that um, it, it would be okay that if we had started, because a lot of persons are saying that if we had started uh, Alexi Wolby during the qualifiers, the World Cup qualifiers, we probably wouldn't have been where we are today. So, so, so I'd you... like to see those... I like to see those persons that are, talk, are saying that. I'd like to see them. <laughs> really I mean, I mean the argument for Alex Iwobi is that he, he has a way of doing his thing. I mean, there's some magic he no, brings at the end Alex of the day Iwobi, to the game. Tell you the, the honest truth, Alex Iwobi is a, was a joker before t yesterday's game. I mean, before Frank Lampard came into Everton, he was a preferred man from Frank, for Frank Lampard. But for, at the AFCON, he was a joker. Before the World Cup qualifiers, I wouldn't pick him. But now... He is the main man to watch. <laughs> he is the main man because he has rejuvenated. See, something about a, any bad footballer can be good overnight. It's, it's just how you can learn, how you can relearn things. I mean, Alexi Wobi from his Arsenal days, for me, he was always been an average player. But what I saw him do yesterday and what he has been doing for Everton in the past 10 games is also the one, a, one, uh, a, a, a player to look out for in the coming days. I mean, the whole Super Eagles squad, everyone has opted to improve. And then this is the main uh, quality of a side that wants to win trophies. All right. That's the same way. Um, uh, uh, I mean, a lot of people have, have, have been, uh, you know, trolling Alex Wobi. Uh, and but though I feel that um, the, the young man has not been uh, treated fairly, he, he plays well for Nigeria. He may not have all, all, all the uh, good days, but um, we can see that he scored a goal. So maybe some of you who have been trolling him have to eat your humble pie, just as you all also were clamoring for um, uh, 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 Gerard Rowe to be, to be removed. I'm sure you saw where that ended up. Um, if Gerard Rowe was still the coach in Nigeria, would have gone to the World Cup, my brother. If Ghana Rowe was still a coach, sure Nigeria would have gone to the World Cup. I, I'm, I'm Ghanaian, all right? but I'm telling you that Nigeria would have gone to the World Cup. Whoa, I never knew that. Yes, oh, if, if Ghana Rowe was, was still the coach, you know. So, so I don't know. But, but um, um, before we go, very quickly, uh, um, the combination up front, um, is that the best as far as you're concerned? Um, bearing in mind the fact that Nigeria is embarrassed with an abundance of talent when it comes to strikers. And of course, um, uh, we have uh, uh, Kola Wale Dezes, the guy from Feyenoord, who scored in the game against Mexico. He didn't start, and the coach opted to go for Uma, who plays in the second tier of the Spanish um, uh, professional leagues. Um, we have, of course, uh, the, the young man from Leicester City as well. Indeed, he was not in this game. Uh, you know, the midfield combination. Are there players that we should be considering above other players? We have the guy from Watford as well, um, the, the, the attacker who was not in this game. Were there players that probably should have been uh, starting this game, you know, rather than the ones that uh, Pesero went with? Well, sometimes it, it doesn't matter how you start. You can start bad and end up greatly. But when you start bad and uh, your opponents get to score you many goals and uh, everything goes crazy. But for the start of the Super Eagles, uh, for the players who started, I would like to say that this man is just starting. I mean, we should give him all the empowerment he, he needs. It's, it's not a time for us to talk. Mm. If we employed him, if the NFF employed him, they saw his CV. They saw it and he's worthy of taking the Super Eagles. So why are we talking when he's making his own decisions? For me, I would like to give him a chance to do whatever he wants to do. We've right. got abundant talent. V very it's very quickly. Important. Yes, very quickly. Sorry to interrupt you, my brother. What changes or what lessons should we learn from this game ahead of the next game? All right. So that we, we, we are very delighted. Personally, for me, I'm, I'm delighted for the win. But we should also take a look at our defensive, uh, our defensive players. Uh, they're not the very best for me, especially the center pairing. Olaya now was uh, very solid. He also had a crossing that uh, resulted to Simon Moses heading uh, to uh, Victor Simen. Our center defense, our center pairing, I mean, we don't have the very best. Kenny Romero, fantastic player he was, but he's aging. He came on later on in the game. Leon Balogun is also aging. He doesn't That's have all right. a contract uh, for Rangers Thomas, right we now. have to let we you go now. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, let me finish up. Let me finish up. William Trusekon is also not a key starter for his club. Semi Ajayi plays in West Brom. We have a problem in our defense. 
A problem is in the defense and also in the midfield, and I can't wait for Wilfred and Didi to be back. And then, my word, we, we are in for a, a great fo for great football in the coming days. Well, Wanda Thomas, thank you so much. You're very correct when you said that the biggest challenge we have is time, and time is of the essence. We come uh, through on Friday. Hopefully, we're able to have you join us and look at you know some of the conversations that we have regarding the world of football and maybe sports generally. Thank you. Wishes well, I, I saw your beautiful face and, and the gentleman from Ghana. Always a pleasure having me to talk to you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. You too. What well, that's it. Uh, we will definitely return on Monday. It's the size of a conversation. It's been a fantastic week. It has. Very challenging, if you like to and say. And Super Eagles won, so it makes it more fantastic. So it's going yes, to be at least it, it wipes away the tears of Liverpool losing. Uh, Champions League in the league. Oh, come on, don't rub it. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't even deliberate. It wasn't, you can't even put that because we did our bid. It was just unfortunate that one point could actually take you it, out, you know, yeah. of the situation. It's, it's but, all right. you know, it, She's it, talking it, about Arsenal, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Arsenal. Mm, but that's right. the size of a conversation. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do subscribe to YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Bupo. Have a great Friday. And my name is Kofi Bartels. Good morning.